Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Brace yourself guys, this is going to be a super episode. Sometimes I wish that I had superpowers. Imagine how cool it would be if I could fly or turn invisible. Well, I suppose I could already do that, and I'd also get a movie all about me fighting bad guys. You'd watch that, wouldn't you? Come on Hollywood, let's make it happen. But unfortunately, most of these powers are only possible in comic books. I won't be turning into a hero anytime soon. Or will I? Let's look at Iron Man. We know that some of the technology being used in his suit is already real. The military has exoskeleton suits, which not only help people who have spinal cord injuries walk again, but also help soldiers lift heavy objects. We also already have thrusters to allow for flight. According to Dr. James Kakaklios, a physics professor at the University of Minnesota, the main thing holding us back from being Iron Man is a portable power source that can provide enough energy to last longer than a few minutes. And even more, Iron Man's suit seems to be able to abide by his thoughts. However, this is not completely out of our league, people. Using an EEG, scientists and engineers have come up with interactive games using the user's thoughts. Heck, we've even been able to make music based off of information gathered from an EEG and an fMRI. Oh, and those exoskeleton suits that I mentioned before? The man who made the first kick of the World Cup this year was wearing a suit that was controlled with his mind. So maybe Iron Man isn't too far off. But how plausible is it to become a super soldier like Captain America. Sebastian Alvarado, a postdoctoral biologist at Stanford, seems to have the answers. He describes the possibility of taking a pill that when shot with ultraviolet light would release its contents and edit the user's genes. Through a process known as epigenetics, desired genes can be turned on, as if turning on a switch. Think about how all of our cells contain the same DNA. The reason why the same DNA can result in so many different types of tissues and organs is that the genes are turned off and others are turned on in different parts of the body. If we can somehow turn on a certain gene that can grow our muscles or increase our stamina, we could be well on our way to becoming more like Steve Rogers. Lastly, Alvarado proposes that the Incredible Hulk may also have an epigenetic origin. When Bruce Banner was exposed to massive amounts of gamma radiation, the gamma rays would have damaged his DNA. When his body was repairing and reassembling the DNA, it is possible that he now contained a few epigenetic switches that made him transform into the Hulk. And the trigger for his switch is in his hormone levels, making him completely able to control the switch. The Incredible Hulk sure is incredible, and so is science. Alright, I know this is a really tough question, but what superpower would you want to have if you can have any superpower in the world? Mine would be mind control. As always, I'm Blocko, this has been Life Noggin, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to keep on thinking.